Yo yo boys back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a good old fashioned guide. I'm actually going to turn the audio down a little bit. So a lot of people have been asking me on my discord and all that good stuff to go through the guide because obviously on my last video um, once it starts picking up I already know a lot of people are going to be asking as well. So we're going to get on to it. We're going to go over the gear. the Pretty much everything. Now first off everybody needs to understand that a lot of this um a lot of people don't didn't have this gear at the time so as you can see uh the gear the mastery it's kind of bugged it's item it's agility i'm pretty sure it's agility over everything else so the gear the reason this gear is so op is it's i it's agility because i've seen its stats i have tried all mastery i've gotten it all stacked up to where i've gotten you know my crafted pieces that even have more mastery i've gotten the most mastery that you can possibly get and i actually lose out on damage but then when I just put this full set of gear on, no two set or nothing, I actually end up doing more damage. So if I actually ended up, you know, canceling out this neck here and I put like a, you know, if I just canceled out other than, you know, having this mastery buff, I think I'd even do more damage. Because it's like, I'm pretty sure it's just bugged right now. So pretty much, um, obviously in a few days, you know, it's not even going to be worth getting this gear because the crafted gear and the uh, honor gear is going to be out. So, I wouldn't even worry about getting this gear. It's not even worth it. Now, if you would like to do it, all you need to do is go to a custom, go to bloody, just type in blood, bloody, and then just join one of these groups, go there, and then start PvPing. If you guys are also curious, by the time this video comes out, I don't know if it's still going to be up, but make sure you're looking out. I look out every day for these type of quests. 750 blood tokens. That would be 750 kills. So, that's very insane, and obviously... Uh, it's going to be done in 6 hours, so I'm not 100% sure if this video will be uploaded by then. If not, just always look for these quests during, you know, the season as well. You never know when something can come up, and it's really helpful for all once the season, you know, starts going. But uh, first off, we're going to go with gear. Now, you want to go with full mastery gear, but however, at the moment, you're just going with full crafted gear. Or, you know, you're going to go here and, you know, buy all the gear you can. Uh, you could switch out the neck and also the ring too, but I leave the ring on for the mastery and then I just bought the other ring. Even though I lose out on mastery, it's just the item level and the agility that it ends up... For some reason, the item level is just like, I, I don't know if it's bugged or not, but I just do more damage just having this set of gear on. So, um, if you would like to try it out, go ahead, just get the gear. I'll have my check or I'll have my armory below if you guys just want to look at my gear, copy it, and then try it out. I don't know if this build will get nerfed before the season starts, but who knows. Um, the reason I don't want them to nerf anything on anything, any class at all, is because we don't know how um, good or bad a class is going to be before we have you know, the new set, the new Conquest gear. We just don't know. So unless something's completely one-shotting, like a Ret Paladin, they click wings and they're just absolutely one-shotting, this is more of like a three to four second one-shot. And it's not even a one-shot. It's more just you kill somebody in three to four seconds. If they click CDs, you're not going to kill them. However, if they don't click CDs, you're, they're going to die. So that's kind of how this build is. But yeah, just go for this gear. If you would like to, try it. It doesn't take long. It probably takes like an hour to get like 2,000 bloody tokens if you just get a group and just start PVing down. So it's it's not, you know, difficult. But, you know, that there's that. Now the talents... I'm just going to put the build in the bottom, but if you guys would look at it, you know, want to look at it this way, uh, I'll have it linked in the description. Just go down the description, copy the build, put it in, and you're good to go. Now, with PvP talents, um, the reason I like using Vel is so they can't do anything to me. They can't stun me. Like, when you use Evasion, they can still back up, you know, stun you. But when you're using this talent, they, it's literally a bubble. So, literally, whenever you're doing your go, just click, you know, cloak. And they can't do anything to you. They, you're, you have bubble on. So you're just able to sit there. And without disarms coming your way. Blinds. You know CC at all. Stunned. Whatever. There's nothing that can happen to you. And you know that's that's a good thing about it. So there's the talents right there. Now my last video I you know put the build in. But I'm going to do it again. Um, we're going to go with the macros beforehand though. And the add-ons that I'm using. So the macros that I'm using. I'm running secret tech. I'm running Cold Blood, Thistle T, and then Secret Tech. So then you're using your Thistle T before you use your Secret Tech. That way, as you can see, I'm getting a Mastery buff for 5 seconds. So you want that extra Mastery buff before you do the Secret Tech. And then I do have Cold Blood before Secret Tech. 
So there's that macro. And then on top of that, I have my Shadow Dance macro right here. Now, instead of your Orc Racial, because I'm Night Elf, so I have it, you know, I just put it there. So if I'm playing my Orc Rogue, I don't have to switch my macros out. And then on top of this, the Fire Easter thing, you don't have to worry about. This is just this right here. It has no, you know, value to it other than it looking cool. So you're just putting Cast Shadow Blades, or Shadow Dance, and then Blades. Now, you can do your Blades first. So you can't put, you know, Shadow Blades and then Dance. Or you can do it the other way. I don't think it matters, because regardless... Um, let's see here. So, let's see, you're getting four. Now, let's see. Actually, I need to spend these real quick. Yeah, so we're going to try it out. You're getting four. So, no matter, even if you have blades up and you shadow dance, you're still getting the same value as if, if you didn't. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter if you have a first or not. I just wanted to make sure and double check that I'm not, you know... But uh, that's all there is to it. That's that macro. And then I have my side macro. I don't really use my side macro with this build. It's not really relevant. But um, I will show you guys it anyway. Just for if you would like to do a mini go. So you're pretty much just doing cast shadow dance. And, and then your trinket. And then one minute later you're just going to use your badge on the burst go. Now it's really good if you're playing with the DPS. So any rogues that are doing carries. What you want to do is have your DPS full send them. Get every CD. And then just use your one shot with a shadowy duel and then take them out. That's pretty much what I did in Shadowlands. If anyone was watching back in the day, I'd have my teammate go out there, use every defensive and offensive CD, try to get as many CDs as possible, and then I'd wait for my badge to come up or my cosmic trinket, and then I'd shadowy duel and either kill them or, you know, whatnot. But th that's my two macros. Now I do have my sat macros as well. Uh, my sat macro is pretty much, let me find which one it is specifically. Um, I know it's somewhere over here. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. So it's just a basic thing. All it is is, you know, you're just sapping them up. Uh, it, you're just in stealth and the, it'll target the first person in stealth and you can just sap them. Um, that's all there is to that. Now you can have a gouge macro as well. Um, usually I would have it on, but for some reason I don't. It's probably because I changed builds. But the gouge macro is just stop auto attack. And I same thing for my kidney. So cast gouge, stop attack. And then that way, whenever you're auto attacking, you can just do this. And it'll automatically stop attacking. So I stop auto attacking. And that way it doesn't break my gouge. Same thing with my kidney. My kidney is the same thing. So it's cast kidney shot, stop attack. So that way, you know, if I'm attacking, I kidney shot. It stops attacking. That way, if I want to, you know, blind, if I want to kinny, blind sap, it's not, you know, putting him in combat. Because sometimes when you kinny, it'll do an extra, like, couple auto attacks while you're trying to run away. And you definitely don't want that. But that's pretty much all there is for the macros. Now, I do have my Nido macro. Same thing. It just automatically puts me in stealth. So, this is the macro right here. It's a little bit, you know, it has a lot of things. But all you're doing is, you know, when you click it, it clicks and automatically clicks stealth. That way, I don't have to, uh... You know, obviously I don't have to click self my I don't have to nelf and then use it. I can just, you know, click in and I'll click both. So, there's that. And that's all for the macros. Now we're going to go into the add-ons real quick. The add-ons, this is what I use. Big debuffs is a must. I have capping. That, that caps. The capping add-on, I'm pretty sure it also adds up the eyeball. So, sometimes you won't be able to see the eyeball. So, this will allow you to see when the eyeball comes up. So, then you can... You know, if you, let's say you're doing a 1v1 or something, um, you'll know exactly when the eyeball is up and you can play, you know, accordingly, whether you need to sit preemptively sit on a pillar or, you know, whatever. But next one would be the details damage meter. This is not a need, but this will, you know, help you figure out what you're dying to. You can go through your last games, pretty much see whatever you need to see. Nameplay cooldowns. I think it's also a must. Omni CD. There is also Omni Bar. You don't really need Omni Bar unless you're wanting to see like stuns and stuff. I only use it for kicks for my casters if I'm trying to fake cast or healers or whatever. So I don't really use it on my rogue. You have S Arena updated. I use this instead of Gladius. It has been bugging, so it's definitely going to need to update next season. Because right now, if somebody trinkets, it's not actually. Sometimes it won't say on their you know thing that they trinketed. You have to like look at their name points. So the add-ons kind of you know it's a little bit messed up right now. But, you know, I probably by the next, by the season, by the time the season comes, hopefully it's fixed. If not, you know, it is what it is.
but you know it should be fixed fairly soon. Trufi's uh, GCD this basically tells you what you're clicking. So if you want to look at your own recorded gameplay, which is a good thing to do if you're learning, the best thing that you can do is record your gameplay and basically watch somebody that you're playing, like that somebody that you want to learn of, and then see what they're pushing, and then see what you pushed, and see what you can do to fix it. So that's that's a good way to you know that's a good add-on to see you know how you're playing, and that's all I use. Just those basically four head-ons. You don't need weak ores. Honestly, I think people that use weak ores are not gonna end up being as good as somebody who doesn't. And the reason is is a game telling you what's going on. You're not gonna get any situational awareness. You're just having something tell you what's to push and what when they're pushing it. You need to know when they're pushing something based on what you're seeing or hearing, not based off of you know, an add-on having to, t it's like a secondary, you know, it's like somebody secondary telling you what's going on. It's like, it's not your own brain. It's just something that's telling you, anybody who uses them, it's fine. It's not a big deal. But if you want, if you're wanting to get better, I would not use it. I would, you know, there's a reason they don't use it in, you know, competitive. They don't use it competitively anymore. You can't use those type add-ons, I don't think. And there's a reason for that because a lot of these people that get high rated are literally just having, you know, 50 add-ons that are telling them it's like a, it, it looks like a PVE screen. I think like Mez is one of those type of people that, you know, use those type add-ons and it's just like, it's unbelievable. You can't even see what's going on in the game. Not throwing shots, but I'm just making an example of somebody who uses those where it's like, you know, he's already at that point to where even if he didn't use it, he would still be in a good spot. But using that automatically, you know, your value as a player goes down when you use it. Now, obviously, it's fine if you use it. If you want to use it, sure. But I'm just saying, personally, I have never used that an add-on like that. Because I like to learn, you know, myself. If I Even if I'm bad at that time, when I was bad, I'd still never use it. My thing about playing this game is I want to learn it myself. And if I'm too bad to learn it, then I need to keep trying. Simple. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I'm pretty much just bickering at this point. Don't want to make this video as you know as long as you know as possible. But next thing is the the uh, the rotation, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, if you want more damage, I would suggest going orc. So you're getting that orc racial. Otherwise, I don't know what else you can do for damage. Uh, like I said, I would just go with the gear. Now, maybe by the next time, by the time the blue gear comes out, it actually it might be fixed to where going back to, you know, doing full mastery is like this, which it will get fixed. It's just right now it's kind of iffy and it's a hundred percent bugged because I, I have 76% mastery, but when I have, you know, as much mastery as possible and I actually tested it out, my damn, my abyss rates go down to max 75 Ks. But then when I pop on the blue gear, they do a hundred to 130 Ks. So it's definitely a big difference, but, um, pretty much with this build, all you're doing is this, you're going to open. So usually what you see, if you watch my last video, I don't open with cheap shots or nothing. I literally come out of stealth and I do gloom blade four times. And what you're doing is you're stacking this buff. So one, two, three, and four. Boom. Now you've done your four stacks. At this point in time, you're going to eviscerate. So just randomly click on eviscerate. Boom. Right after you get your four stacks. Now I have my finality proc. At this point in time, you are ready for your build. All you're going to be doing is using your burst macro into a cheap shot into a, your secret attack macro, into symbols, into Gormal, into Eviscerate, into Cheap Shot. And that's all you're doing. That's easy. Now, I will say I'm not the creator of this build. I ended up seeing a bunch of people um, messaging me about the build. And once I was like, all right, I might as well look at it. I don't know if Polymore made it, but I, I have seen his video on it. Uh, I watched it after I found the build. So by no means am I the creator of this build. Uh, so I got to give credit to where it's due, even though I'm not a big fan of Polly Muir, uh, you definitely have to give credit. So yes, I'm not the creator of this build, but I am going to be showing you guys what's goody because I know a lot of you guys might not watch some, spe you know, specific type of YouTuber. So I'm just going to be creating it myself. And at this point in time, we were ready to do our one shot. So after this point, I'm going to do a quick version and I'm going to go over what I did. So at this point, we've gotten our four stacks. We've gotten our finality. At this point, we're going to use all of our CDs. So, boom. Cheap shot. Use our secret tech. Symbols. Gore. Eviscerate. Cheap shot. Eviscerate. Cheap shot. Eviscerate. As you can see, it's unhealable damage. And that's all there is to it.
Now, if you saw and if you watch, if you did happen to watch Polymore's video, he tried it on a Windwalker. It's not going to look like that in an actual game. Now, a lot of people will try something like this, and the reason they try it is they want it to make it look as real as possible, but at the same time, they're actually blatantly, you know, you need to, if if they if he would have tried it on a warrior and he did this and he would have done that it would have been different. However, he tried it on one of the glassiest classes in the game, and it's a class that nobody really plays. So, if you tried it on like a warrior or, or a warlock or something that's more tanky, and he did that, it would have been more like I don't know. It would have been better because when you're actually in a game in a real game, you're not going to be doing what you think you saw. Because as long if they click a single CD you're going to realize that it's like, oh, well, I still do damage. Or even if they don't click a CD, you're not going to one-shot them necessarily. However, there's random times to where you might hit an insane... Like, if you add Dark Arc and PI, you will be hitting, you know, fat numbers. But as you can see, the build's not very hard to do. It's not a hard build to do. Now, it will take you at least an hour, maybe even not, to get the whole thing down without messing it up. Because it does... Because at the same time, this is a target dummy. This is not a real player. So at the end of the day, if they trinket or something, you have to act accordingly and go from there. Now, there is no one-shot macro to where you just spam the macro and it does everything for you. And I don't like those macros at all. I would never, you know, suggest it. So, again, we're going to do this build again. Um, let me find a different target dummy. So it looks like they're all using it. I don't know if this guy attacks me. Oh, whatever. DRs, DRs. So, same thing. You're going to get your four stacks. So, open out of stealth. Get your four stacks. Boom. You got your four stacks. At this point in time, eviscerate. Now you've gotten your finality. Now you are ready. So, once you got your four stacks and your eviscerate, and I would suggest doing this every time, even on mini goes, with your gore maul. So, you're all, even if you don't have, you know, blades up, do the same thing. So you're just doing the same rotation. Maybe you could Shadow Strike because obviously you're not going to get full comm points off of you just using it. So you could do, you know, if you don't have the blades, do the same thing except before you, you know, before you're going to Cheap Shot, Shadow Strike, and then do it, and then Symbols, Gormaw. So again, we're going to show the burst here. And all you're doing is this. So you got your Eviscerate. At this point in time, you're going to Full Burst it. So Full Burst, Cheap Shot, Secret Tech Macro, Symbols, Gormaw, Eviscerate. So burst, cheap shot, secret tech, symbols, gormal, eviscerate, and then you cheap shot, eviscerate, cheap shot, eviscerate. Boom. And again, you know, this is a target dummy. So the highest number that I've seen for a for gormal is about you know 300k. Now that's with dark arc, and it was like a very it was the guy was under like he wasn't under gear, but he wasn't in my gear because I have a lot of gear. So you. If you want this build to work how it's supposed to, you're going to probably need this type of gear. I tried it with the other gear. It's still a lot of damage. But, it, you know, if you're playing with, like, a Fire Mage or something and you get them down to 80%, usually this build will get them down to 20% or maybe even 10%. And then there's that extra little bit of percent. So if you have another DPS or you can get them a little bit lower before you do it, great. Um, I would suggest doing it with any type of DPS. Just smoke bomb them, stun them. And then, or just have your teammate just full send them, give them to 80%, shadow we do them, and then just, once you have your build set up, then just do your go. That's what I usually do. So again, last time I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to tell you a mini go you can do, and that's going to be pretty much all there is to it. So get your four stacks. So basically, you're going to open, nice, you're shadow striking, you can evasion, whatever. Boom, got your thing. Now you're going to eviscerate. At this point in time, you can tell your teammate, start just doing damage, pop their burst. And at this point in time, once you get down to like 80%, you're just going to do the same thing. Pop your burst, cheap shot. Now you can, you know, usually I shadowy dole when I cheap shot. That way if I'm, I'm not clicking my burst and they have time to like pre-use a CD. So usually I would, you know, you can either shadow dance or you can just use your burst. So same thing, you have all your stuff set up. So use your burst, cheap shot, shadowy dole, secret tech, symbols, gore maw, eviscerate, and then cheap shot again, and then that's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Pretty, uh, it's a pretty uh, basic build. It's not difficult to uh, use. So that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. Now the mini go that you can do with Gormal is the same thing. You just get do the same thing you would normally do. So let's say you didn't have your finality up. So you'd eviscerate. Now you have your build up. Just do the same thing except 
you know, at this point you're not going to have blades, so you can either Shadow Strike or you can just go with what you got. So I'm going to vanish the reset here. So I'm coming out. So at this point, I need to have my finality up, so I'm going to use my Shadow Dance macro. So boom, Cheap Shot, Secret Tech, Symbols, Gormal, and Eviscerate, and then Cheap Shot again. And then a bit or shadow strike is an eviscerate. Same thing. You just, as you can see, we still did a lot of damage. And actually, I forgot that I'm running the shadow dance thing. So you still get the, or I'm not running seven second um, combo points. So you actually don't need a shadow strike. Just do the same thing I just did. So you're just doing the same thing except you don't have blades. So my mistake. But yeah, that's just the mini go. And mini goes are still really good. You can still like 140 somebody, 130 somebody. And if you have like a you know DPS with you, they're gonna get blown up. So yeah, use the build while you can, but uh, you know, that's all there is to it. And I think that's all there is. But yeah, you want to be using your Thistle T before. I mean, you have it in your macro, or you should just macro it up. That's what I do, so it's a lot easier. You don't even have to click it, and it automatically does it for you. Just make sure you just do all the macros like I did it, and you'll be good to go. So that is the end. And I think trying to see if I'm forgetting anything because I think I did forget something maybe not though build done add-ons gear but yeah, I, honestly you can probably try it without the gear and see how it goes and if you want to you know you don't have to get a full set just get you know as many as you can but that's pretty much it that's all there is to it so hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one peace peace